Hi, in this video, I'll show you three different ways that you can replace your fonts in all slides of your PowerPoint presentation at once. The first, using themes. The second, using Slide Master. And third, using the font replace feature. So I want to use this PowerPoint template for my presentation. The only issue is my organization requires that employees use a specific brand font in all presentations. Now, it would be tedious to go slide by slide selecting different text element to change the font. So let's use each of the three methods to change the font all at once. In this template, if I click on different text elements and go to the Home tab, you can see the fonts being used. So for headings, it's using Montserrat. And if I click on another text element, um, the body is using Source Sans Pro. I want to be able to switch all of them to Candera. So what we'll do is we'll head over to Design. And within Themes, uh, select Variants. Click on More Options. Select Fonts. And you see that there is a, a list of different fonts that we can select from. And as you hover the cursor over to the different fonts, you can see the preview in the slide itself. Um, so let's choose Candera. Click to apply. And now if I select the different text element, we'll go back to the Home tab. You can see the heading has been changed to Candera. And the body has been changed as well. And we can, of course, click into the different slides and just confirm that all changes were made. So this is a, a good option. Using themes is a good option if you want to apply the change globally to all slides. Now, if you wanted to choose a different font for the heading and the body, or want to choose a font that wasn't listed in the variant list, we can go back to Design, go to Variants, click on Font, and then select Customize Fonts. Here, we can assign different heading font. Let's choose Dosis, I don't know. And for body, we can choose Callisto. Okay, And we can give it a custom name as well. I'm just going to leave the default, hit Save. And then now, when we select different element on the page, go back to the Home tab, you can see that the body inherited the Callisto font and the heading inherited Dosis. Okay, now let's take a look at the second way to change fonts in your slides, and that's by using Slide Master. Head over to the View tab and go to Slide Master. Before I click on it, though, I'm going to hover here for a second so that we can all see what Slide Master does, right? So it says here that sl uh, Master Slides controls the look of your entire presentation, including colors, fonts, background effects, and just about everything else, okay? I'm going to click on it. And then if you look at the navigation pane here, you can see that the first slide is the master. And then all of the, the sub slides are the different layout uh, of the master slide. OK, um, so I'll explain what that means in a second. But for now, if you want to apply a global change to the font, all you have to do is within the slide master tab, Click on the fonts drop down, and this looks, you know, this should look familiar. This is exactly um, what we saw under the themes menu. Okay, so we can select any of the listed fonts or go to customize fonts and make the changes. I'm going to go ahead and select Arial uh, just as an example and close master view. And if I click on any of the text elements, you can see that the slides now have inherited the Arial font. Okay, But the power of the Slide Master really comes in when, when you want to make selective adjustment to specific layouts. So to show you an example, if I go back to Slide Master, 
view, slide master. As you hover over the different layouts, you can see which slide in, in, our, in my presentation is using the layouts, right? So this layout is being used by slides 1, 5, 19, and 30 in my presentation. If I skip down, this one is being used only by slide 6, and this one is being used by 7, 23 to 26, okay? So let's say for this specific layout, whichever slides in my presentation that's using this layout, I want to change the subtitle. So I'm going to click on the edge to select it, go to home, and for font, let's choose, I don't know, an interesting script font somewhere. Uh, I don't know. We'll choose this one, make it large. Okay. So again, remember the numbers. This change is being applied to slides 7, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Okay. So we can go back to Slide Master and hit Close Master View, or you can simply just click on this normal icon and that'll close the view. Now, if you go back to or go to slide 7, you can see the subtitle font has been updated. And let's go to the other slides with the same layout which is from 23 to 26, I believe it was. And there you have it, okay? And it didn't affect any of the other slides, okay? Only the slides with the Slide Master layout that we selected inherited the change. So the third method we can use to change fonts in our slides is to use the Replace Fonts feature. This feature will allow us to replace one font with another. And you can get there by, within the Home tab, go to the Replace dropdown and select Replace Fonts. So currently, Arial is selected. That's the font that we have in our presentation. We can replace that with any other font. Uh, let's choose Algerian, for example, hit replace. It does take a few seconds for the replace to take place. I'm going to hit close and you can see from the different slides that the font change took place. Now, this is a good option if you want to get a little more surgical, right? So let's say you have a presentation that uses many different fonts and you want to make changes to a specific font. Uh, this is a good option to use. All right, so we reviewed three different ways that you can replace your font in all slides of your PowerPoint presentation. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks and bye for now. <laughs>